Hello and welcome to the Cinti Custom Color tutorial. Uh, this is a continuation of the, the other tutorial, last one back. I'm going to do a showcase of what we're going over today. So we're going to be able to edit everything independently and on this we can set it to have individual colors on individual components so you don't have to have one, you don't have to have everything set to UV1, you can have the shirt set to UV1, you can have the skin set to UV2, and so on and so forth. Alright, let's jump into it. This is where we left off in our last tutorial. What we're going to do now is have our shirt selected. We're going to hit P and choose selection. It is now going to split the shirt off from the character we need to do this to split our model so that we can choose a color for individual parts we could choose a skin color for through a UV mapping and individually choose a shirt UV mapping color and pants so on you'll notice down at the bottom right corner I have shortcuts so if I click it'll show left click any key and it will show down there. Also I like to go to edit preferences. We go to navigation and we ensure auto depth is ticked on and that will uh, make navigating a bit easier. If you find that you are scrolling really slowly when you're zooming in on objects, turn that on and it will help you just navigate a bit easier. You might need to turn it off and on depending on how you're Workflow is. Next I'm going to rename the shirt. So I'm just going to take off the extra tidbits. Underscore shirt. And we're going to set this to not visible. Just going to Take the extra numbers off of that, and we're ready to split off the rest of the body. Just for this tutorial, I'm just going to have the bottom as one piece. When you do it, you can go through and even select things like the watch, the beard, etc. To make selection easier, we can just come up to toggle x-ray, and remember we need to be in edit mode. We also want to turn off of our root. When you're in x-ray mode, you'll notice that I select everything through instead of when, as when it's off. If I select the faces, you'll notice that it only selects what you can see. X-ray mode. Just going to highlight everything here. We're now just going to straight hit P to do selection. I'm going to have to make a group. call that underscore pants and turn that off Do the arm right because obviously it's facing us. And I didn't name the head. With the last one left, we are just going to call it. We can head out of. Edit mode, last one left will now be left arm. What we're going to do is re enable everything. Now we need to get this ready for export. So we're just going to come up to the root. That's what we want to be the main folder. Go up to the character. We need to delete this 
folder heading and that will change our scale if you notice we're rather large to fix that we need to come under scene properties we'll go to units go to the 0.01 unit scale now we're back to the unreal scale and you will notice that when we imported it we selected add leaf bones these things here add them to your skeleton if we just upload them with it but what we can do is just when we export we can go ignore leaf bones just turn off x-ray mode brings back everything to normal next we're going to just do some UV mapping for individual components firstly we're just going to deselect everything by the arm and I'm just going to hide our scene root we come up to object data properties and the UV I'm doing three UV mappings in this tutorial you can do more so this is going to be the first one, second one, and third one. You need to make sure that it is selected and the camera view is on. Okay, when we hit tab for edit mode, we can go to x-ray mode, select all. I'm just going to merge them at center so they're one point and our first one will just be there now our second one will be let's say for instance go here then our Third one could go darker again. If you just have the UV sync selection activated, then when you'll notice when I select the points, it selects all the faces. So um, you'll see when I have multiple colors, it makes it easier just to pick out a specific color of the faces. Just make sure you remember to have your UV map selected and the camera for it turned on. Here's where I decide that I want access to all the colors for the skin from the material that Cinti provides. We covered how to edit the texture files in the last tutorial.
So just make sure you're in object mode. Now make sure that you don't have the camera and lighting selected. We want to... Oh, this, I need to rename that. We're going to deselect everything bar what we are exporting as we need to export this we have to export all the individual parts and then assemble them later so we need to make sure that we have our mesh selected we click a we will get the root and our piece we've got a file export fbx now these are going to be the settings that I use Make sure selected objects is enabled. That's fine. Just select faces on this one. And I believe this is normally checked on. Uncheck that. Uh, if we go to armature, this will be selected on by default. We want to deselect add leaf bones. and um, just unselect bake animation that's usually on we won't be exporting any animations in this okay with that done we will now export that one's done so we need to deselect that come to the right arm A you notice these are all selected export this is FBX Right, and this should save our settings, so we just hit export. Okay. So that is on pens. Now that the character is ready to import, all we need to do is bring up our project. I've just got my folder set up already. I've just noticed that meant to say farm boy, not fan boy. Just going to select all of our skeletal meshes and we're just going to drag and drop. Close that. And what we want is your Sinti character skeleton we want all of this we don't want animations that's fine so you don't want you want us to go no, no material so we're going to import save all save I am going to Bring in my mix, enter sRGB, save. Now we're just going to go into our material. We're going to copy our new mix in. I just edited the skin colors on this one. So. Now in the last tutorial I covered how to make a UV channel selector, uh, so you can go back and follow that if you want to. But that's how we're going to use, uh, we're going to use the index, we're going to call out to our material and choose our coordinates. These are the three I've set up for my three and you can do more if you 
have more. I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to make sure this is set to zero. Set that max to two. Alright. I am now assuming you've got a character set up to be usable. I have just we look under my So I've just set up a retargeting rig. Have done a a retargeter and and my animation blueprint uh, don't worry about the um, it just doesn't have the same amount of bones it doesn't really affect it so this is our animation blueprint and you just plug that straight in retarget pose I am just going to click on the mesh because I've actually got, if we look here, visible, all I've done is I have set my uh, standard character, the Manny, mannequin, as not visible. So what we're going to do is select all of our meshes. And I can now drag and drop them straight in there into the mesh. So they will be a child of the the normal character. What we want to do is select them all. And I'm now going to go to my animation blueprint. It's my retargeted animation blueprint. Compile that. Save. And just to show this working, I have set this up as I showed in the other video, and that's just going to loop through my UV channels. So I just need a reference. So now when I hit play and hit B, you can see that we are flicking through. Our different UV channels and that's each channel at the same time for the same meshes so everything will be channel one a uh, channel zero and, ch and then ch everything will be channel one and everything will be channel two you could set it up to be random you could set it up to um, so each one could have a different UV channel making all sorts of combinations all right thanks